Hi, I'm Matt Tuttleby from Dundon Bible Reflections, and I want to talk a little bit about companionship in isolation. We've just finished a marathon game of family hide and seek for the six of us. Um, I've just pulled the wife out of the tumble dryer, and uh, one of the kids is still hiding, and I'm pretending I can't find him. And if you know our family, you know how crazy that might sound. But seriously, this self-imposed isolation is tough going, isn't it? Why is it so hard to self-isolate? Why is it so hard to keep a social distance? I found myself shouting across the road in conversation with neighbours. I've crossed the road to avoid crowded areas. I've, stand, I've been, found myself standing behind ticker tape in shops with perspex screens in case I involuntarily sneeze. We've been told that it's vital that we pull together to stay apart. In harder cases, I've spoken with grandparents who are talking to their grandchildren through the window. Whilst this social distance is necessary and it's the responsible thing to do for now to prevent the spread of the virus, we have lost something of what it means to be human. A significant part of being human is being connected. In fairness, this disconnection is suffocating, isn't it? One day we will hug again and shake hands firmly. <laughs> but for now, we have to cope with this distance and loneliness. Now, it's one thing explaining that they are, people are socially isolating from themselves and will talk to you soon. We may get very offended if we thought someone was deliberately avoiding us and socially distancing themselves from us. I want to respectfully suggest that perhaps as a collective nation, we have been self-isolating from God for years, for various reasons. Perhaps individually you've pulled away from him. Perhaps you haven't spoken for some time. This is the great narrative of the Bible, that, that mankind repeatedly distances themselves from God again and again. God's people forgot or blatantly pushed God aside. Ironically, mankind always seems to get in, into a muddle when he runs away from God. The values of a God-isolating society turn crooked and selfish. We've seen that ourselves in the supermarkets. On the other hand, the very makeup of the triune God is a community in harmony. At the most pivotal climatic point in the scripture story is the God, Father God, is dismayed at his isolation from mankind and the damage that we bring on ourselves. So God did something dramatic and costly about it. He generously sent his own son, Jesus, who died and gave up his life generously for us. He longs for us to share in the divine community of the Godhead. We were made for him and we will not find rest or peace without him. There's a wonderful promise that Jesus gave those who followed him those who ask to be rescued, those who hang on his every word. He says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. James also gives us another beautiful promise to claim during this time. He says, come near to God and he will come near to you. Let me say that again. Come near to God and he will come near to you. If you're hiding in a cupboard, struggling in isolation, distance from loved ones, or perhaps lonely even in a crowd, I would encourage you to reach out to him. Perhaps you're fed up listening to your own thoughts. The God of all creation is able to draw close when no one else can. I would encourage you to cry out to God, to pray for this amazing country of ours and its, and its resilient people, and read the scriptures and see the great promises that it contains for us. What I'd like to now is to pray for, for us in this time of isolation. Maybe you bow your heads and join me in a prayer in isolation. Father God, you know all our circumstances in this crazy world. You understand every thought that flies across our minds. You are moved by the deep feelings of unease and discomfort. You appreciate your great need for connection and how we miss our family and friends. I thank you that you are not hiding in a wardrobe declaring that you are no longer in a position to answer our prayers due to this virus. I thank you that you are not constrained by our social distancing rules. I thank you that this disease has not curtailed your involvement in humanity. You promise that those who seek you with all their heart will find you. If that is true, then no, no length of isolation or physical distance can prevent us knowing you deeply. 
We ask you this day for a stronger desire to seek you. We thank you that you are the God who won't force yourself on anyone, yet who delights to be found.